So in this case here, let's look at certain types of uh, ways where the questions can be asked, okay, for transcription and translation. As you can see, I've included something referred to as the mRNA table. The mRNA table is sometimes given in the exam or they'll give you a simplified version of this in the exam. The mRNA table basically tells you which codons will translate to which amino acids. For example, as you can see, AUG, they've highlighted it in green, okay? The AUG is highlighted because it's a start codon and it translates into the amino acid called methionine, which is shortened into MET. If you notice, there are certain parts of the table where they've highlighted three codons in red, UAA, UAG, and UGA codons, and these translate into the stop codon because they will terminate the process of translation. Without wasting time, let's look at a question. Okay, Let me draw out a gene over here. Remember, the gene is made up of double strands where it's non-template and template. And on the template strand, I've given you a sequence which is TAC, AAA, TCT, GAT, and ATC. Now, remember, when transcription happens, which strand is chosen? Is it the non-template strand or the template strand? Yes, it has to be the template strand. So, let's form the complementary base pairings for the mRNA. Notice, when the sequence is TAC, the RNA has to be AUG, not ATG, because remember, RNAs do not have thymine, they have uracil instead. So I'm putting out all the sequence of the mRNA for you. A, G, A, C, U, A, and also U, G, oh, sorry, U, A, G, okay? Now, they will then form the mRNA. And if you notice the mRNA, they will then have codons of AUG, UUU, AGA, CUA, and UAG. So there are five codons in total. Now, so if the first codon is AUG, the tRNA has to be an anticodon of UAC, and the tRNA will carry an amino acid called methionine. I've consulted the table. Okay, let's look at the second one. The codon is UUU. The tRNA has to have an anticodon of AAA right, because of complementary base pairing. Let's consult the table. UUU anticodons, which amino acid does it translate to? It translates to an amino acid called phenylalanine, which is PHE. Next codon, okay, AGA, if we consult the table, it's amino acid arginine. Next codon, CUA, tRNA is GAU, and the amino acid is leucine, and UAG translates to a stop codon. And there you go. You got a polypeptide chain consisting of four amino acids. This is how transcription and translation plays out. And you can consult the table for this. All right? Let's look at another one. Okay. I'm going to change it a little bit. All right. I'm going to change a sequence over here. Now let's let's make it a little bit more interesting. Now let's say that I'm just highlighting. I've put question marks over there. I've put question marks in the gene, I've put question marks in the mRNA, and I've also put a question mark in the amino acid. Now, let's say the tRNA's anticodon is CCU, all right? So we can use the tRNA's information to find out all the other information, right? What do I mean by that? So if the tRNA's anticodon is CCU, the, antico uh, the codons of the mRNA has to be GGA. And if you look at the table, GGA will translate to an amino acid called glycine, G-L-Y, okay? And if the mRNA is G-G-A, what will the gene be then? Well, because the mRNA's codon was G-G-A, so therefore the gene has to be C-C-T. So by just giving you one information, we can kind of piece out all the other informations as well. Let's try another one, okay? Let's, let's for the fun of it, just try another one out, okay? Oh, there's another thing that we have also have to know about DNA. The DNA code is degenerate. Now, what do I mean by degenerate? It means that multiple bases can be translated into the same amino acid. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's try one. Let's say the gene is TAC, GCT, GCG, GCA, and ACT. 
So the mRNA is going to be AUG, CGA, CGC, CGU, and UGA. Now, interestingly, the first tRNA is going to be carrying methionine, but the second, third, and fourth tRNAs, if you notice, they are all carrying the same amino acid, arginine, because multiple codons can translate to the same amino acid. For example, the codons CGA, codons CGC, and codons CGU will all translate into the amino acid arginine. So multiple codons can be translated over there, as I've highlighted in the table. So as you can see in the table where I've just put it in like pink squares, is it pink? Yeah, I think it's pink. You notice that six codons can translate into the amino acids arginine. This is what is meant by the DNA code is degenerate, which means to say it can be repetitive, basically.